lost my V-card freshman year to my TA, and then I met David, and now you. Wait, you always slept with three dudes. Yeah, I got married right out of college. What's your number? Uh, it's like, you know, like a multiple of three. It's like... What, like six? Revealing your number. I don't know if it's a good idea or a bad idea. I think it depends on how serious you are with the person and the kind of relationship you guys have. First of all, who's counting? Second of all, I, I mean, I can't remember. And if you've had a lot, who cares? That's such a thing you do in your 20s. Once you're older, you're like, I really, I don't care. If you're here with me now, let's live in the now. We could die tomorrow. I don't think 20-year-olds think that way. Now I'm 90. Now I'm just a, I'm just a 90-year-old talking about this. Good idea, I don't think. Keeping any information about anything is helpful. I don't think it's important for me to divulge every single number, every single thing. A little imagination goes a long way. I think part of getting older, it's like sexier to keep secrets. And not like deep, dark, gross, scary secrets. Just like your partner actually doesn't have to know everything. Free pass for number four. You want me to sleep with someone else? No. I want you to have the chance to explore. And I never want to hear about it. What an idiot move. Dumb, dumb, dumb. I personally think that that leads to trouble, me personally. I I wouldn't be capable of saying to somebody, here. I play that game with my husband, we'll be like, Jason Bateman, and he's like, man, free pass. Great idea. You have to have freedom. Just even if you're with someone, you can't assume that they're yours for life, even if you are married. It's a choice you make to stay with someone every single day. Is that radical? Was I raised on a commune? I'm really into Josh doing this free pass thing. I get it, and I actually respect Josh for it. Like, I get why he does it, but at the same time, I'm like, dude. I'd say, no, don't take that advice. Never do that. But this is totally going to be her get out of jail free card with Charles. Spoiler alert. I don't actually know that. I don't know why he would want to do that. Like, it's not even in her head. And he's like, I have an idea for you. Let me plant this other idea. Terrible idea. Terrible. Honestly, when I read it, I went, oh, is this going to come into play later in the season? She's in love with Charles. I mean, that's really the problem here. Is she going to take advantage of this? And of course you're thinking about Charles. Oh, that's getting complicated. That's why it's a good television show. Yay. I lay on the bed quivering, my hands lingering over my panties. It was mortifying. I was really nervous about it, but then it was really funny. One of the things I love about the writers is they continuously put Liza in ridiculous, awkward, humiliating circumstances and situations. But what's so great is one of the reasons why I love being an actor is that you get to do crazy things like that under the confines of make-believe. So it was fun.